probably Wednesday if I stick to my schedule that I've been sticking with super excited to do this video for you guys and I thought it would be super fun because I get a lot of requests to do cooking videos to do recipe videos so today I am gonna bake for you guys flourless chocolate cupcakes I am obsessed with baking don't mind the cabinets <laughs> I, I really have a problem like shutting cabinets. It's really strange. So as you can see, it's kind of a mess in here. I feel like it's one thing to post recipes on Instagram and share that with you guys, but it's another thing to get the full experience. I love watching cooking shows and cooking channels and just all that fun stuff. I definitely don't want to be insensitive to everything that's going on right now, but being in quarantine just compels me to want to cook and bake as much as possible and like do all those fun things because I definitely have more time than I usually do because I literally haven't really been leaving my house. Take some time, even if you're a bad baker, this is super simple, super easy. Gluten-free, dairy-free, refined, sugar-free, delicious, and that's all that matters. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit this thumbs up if you're excited to see more cooking videos like this because this is highly requested. Let me know if you guys wanna see specific things, like specific recipes or techniques or anything along those lines because if you're new to my channel, I went to culinary school, so I have that background of cooking a lot. I've worked in a lot of restaurants, hotels, um, you name it, I can cook it. So super excited, and let's get into it. Gonna make it through this time. All right, you guys, for this recipe, and bear with me, you're gonna need one and three-fourths cup blanched almond flour. You're also going to need three-fourths cup maple syrup, half a cup of cow raw cacao, half a teaspoon of baking soda, some um, olive oil spray, four eggs, Himalayan pink salt, and stevia, uh, or you can use vanilla extract. And then obviously you're gonna need a pan, we're gonna mix the dry ingredients with um, all together. So this is super simple. All you're gonna do is add the co cocoa powder to the almond flour and just mix it up really well. Also add the baking soda as well. Go ahead, go ahead and add your pink salt and then mix it all together really well. I had a bunch of clumps so I had to mix it for quite a bit. Get a separate bowl, add your four eggs to it and then you're going to want to beat the eggs really well and mix it all together. In this bowl, you're going to add the maple syrup as well. Mix it both together really well. This is where you can add the vanilla extract or the stevia, and then you're going to whip those together. Then you're going to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, and this is going to make the cupcake batter, so you want to mix it really well because almond flour is pretty grainy. So I was whisking for about a couple minutes. Go ahead and grab your cupcake tin and then spray it with the olive oil spray or coconut oil. Start adding your cupcake batter into the pan. You can use an ice cream scooper, but honestly, the batter is like liquidy enough to where you can just pour it in. Preheat your oven to 325 and then stick them in. And I did mine for about 35 minutes. Now for the fun part, gonna clean my kitchen. This is not fun at all. We're gonna go ahead and make the frosting now. So all you need is chocolate chips and you're gonna microwave them for about 20 second intervals. Bring it out of the microwave every 20 seconds and stir. And then at the end of it, you're gonna pour some maple syrup to make it thicker to be able to spread onto the cupcakes. Can we just talk about how beautiful these turned out? So I'm going ahead and frosting all of the cupcakes very generously and they turned out amazing and they look absolutely beautiful. There you have it, you guys. Gluten-free, dairy-free, refined sugar-free, double chocolate cupcakes. Oh my god, look how good these look. Now the hardest part is not eating all of them in one sitting. But I think the good thing about th these is they're very decadent and very rich, so it's not like you can really eat that much. I am very shiny right now because that always happens when I'm cooking, but you guys, if you liked this video, let me know if you want me to do more cooking videos, more baking videos. It's one of my favorite things to do is just bake and share that with you guys. I wish I could honestly just give you guys this through the screen because 
I can't eat all these, so luckily my parents will probably enjoy these, but let's do a taste test, shall we? I like these because they're super moist, and usually with gluten-free baking, it's kind of hard to make it like that, but you guys, such a good little treat to have in the house, you know, when you're craving chocolate, but I'm gonna wrap this up and clean the kitchen, finish cleaning the kitchen, but I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!